And tonight we're learning more about the criminal past of DPS's new, newest board director. Medean Holmes was appointed just last night and we found out she has several previous run-ins with the law, including a charge of child negligence. Number 7's Molly Hendrickson is digging into all of this. And Molly, tonight people are coming to her defense. And that's because as her resume shows, they say she's more than qualified for the position. Now, I spoke with the executive director of STAND, an advocacy group for kids that she serves on. The director tells me Holmes was always open about her past and the mistake that she made 10 years ago many of you can probably relate to. Newly selected DPS board director Midian Holmes is no stranger to the district. Her resume shows she's a mother of three DPS students, a former DPS student herself, a member of Stand for Children, a child advocacy group, and currently sits on two district committees. But what her resume doesn't reveal, her criminal history. Court records show Holmes was charged with wrongs to minors in 2005, but the case was dismissed. Then in 2006, she was charged with child abuse. She pled guilty to a lesser charge of misdemeanor child abuse, no injury involving neglect. Denver 7 confirming her toddler snuck out of the house while the single mother was getting ready for work. A neighbor found the child wandering outside. Holmes was not home to answer our questions, and the district isn't talking. But Stan's executive director is, describing Holmes as a fearless leader who was open with them about her past. See, we appreciated the fact that she disclosed the information to us. It was a very relatable situation to all of us, and in no way did it disqualify her from our, uh, in our minds, from participating as a stand member. I don't believe it disqualifies her as a member of the DPS. Now, within the last 15 minutes, DPS released this statement. They confirmed she can inform board members prior to being appointed about the charges and what happened. More than 10 years ago. Now, Holmes is scheduled to be sworn in next Monday. We're live in the newsroom tonight. Molly Hendrickson, Denver 7. All right, Molly, thank you for that.